Hello, my name is Nitin. In this video, I will talk about creating a GeoMap based report in BMC Remedy Smart Reporting. This video consists of four steps to create a GeoMap based report. In the first step, we shall see how a GeoPack can be uploaded to BMC Remedy Smart Reporting instance. In the second step, we will add a site field to the view. In the third step, we will convert this site field to a geography field. And in final step, we will create a GeoMap based report. BMC provides a number of pre-created GeoPacks. The GeoPacks are available under the product download page of BMC. For Smart Reporting 9.1 and onward releases, the GeoPacks are provided under a zip file called Smart Reporting Content Pack. We can find GeoPacks under the Smart Reporting Content Pack folder. This folder contains all the available GeoPacks. We will use World Countries Pack. To upload the GeoPacks, we will log into the Smart Reporting using SI Admin credentials. We will select the option Administration Admin Console. Scrolling down the screen, we can see the option GeoPack Management. We can either browse the file or perform a drag and drop action. Just wait for the upload to complete and we have now completed the step 1. Let us now move to the step 2. In this step, we will add the site field to the view on which we will create GeoMap. To do this, we will launch Smart Reporting from mid-tier using the client org admin credentials. We will then go to the admin console. In the views section, we will select the view on which we want to create GeoMap based reports. In my case, I am selecting incident management view for editing. For this demo, I am choosing to edit the existing view, but as a best practice, we must not make modifications to out of the box views. In the entity relationship step, I will now search for SIT site table. We will now drag this table to the design canvas. After that, we will now select the columns which are relevant to our requirements. I have selected two columns here, country and site ID. We will use site ID to create the relationship. After selecting the columns, we will now join SIT site table to HPD help desk. This join will be based on site ID field. Once the mapping is added, we can save and close the join window. We have now completed step 2. In step 3, we will convert this newly added field to a geography based field. We will now move to this view field section. In this section, we can see all the tables of the view. In this list, we can find SIT site table. We will now drag both the columns with the table and drop it to the available field list. We will change the field type of country field. We will double click on the country field and change the field type to geography. A new window called geopacks pops up. The drop down available on top right will list all the geopacks that we had added to the system. We will select the country's geopack. In the second drop down, we need to select the level of geography. In the third drop down, we need to select the format of the field. We will choose the name as our site data will have name of the country. After selecting the format, a sample mapping of the formats are shown. Please don't compare the values as they will not match. All we need is to match the data type. We can now save these settings. The field type modification can now be saved. You can now see that country field is shown with a different icon. We can now move to view summary section and activate the view. With this, we have now completed step 3. Let's move to the last step. We will select now create new report. We are selecting incident management view. We will drag one geo field to the report. You can see the geography is available under country field. I am now adding a measure to the report. Let's now move to the chart section. In the available chart type under map category, we can see various options available. We will first select GIS bubble map. Now we are dragging the geography to the geo field. Our measure will be the basis of bubble size. And now here is the output report. We can now try another type of geo map. This time we will use GIS map. In this case, you can see instead of bubble, the whole country is shaded based on the number of incidents. GIS based maps also support zoom operations. This was a brief introduction of how to create GIS map based reports in smart reporting. Thanks for watching.